everybody welcome back to bougie glamour where beauty starts within and radiates out and today i'm going to show you how to get your eyeshadow on fleek so you don't have to look like this lady right here from drew carey remember her yeah i'm gonna show you how to get the true blue look the right way if you're ready here we go okay ladies as you can see i've already done the first eye and this will be your um final look once we finish the other eye so I'm going to pin my hair back and just jump right in with the other eye the first thing I did with this eye is prime the eye with an eyeshadow primer it doesn't matter what type of eyeshadow primer that you use just make sure that you put some type of uh, primer on the eye so that the eyeshadow sticks to the eye and so the first thing I did was to go in with my elf eyeshadow brush and apply my first transition color which is brawn and that's by Mac and I'm going to place that in the crease of the eye and I'm going to really blend that out. We don't want any harsh lines. That's why it's called a transition color so we can transition smoothly into the next color. Okay, the next transition color that I'm going to use is also by MAC and it's called Espresso. And I like to stay for myself within the brown area, you know, the brown colors. So Espresso really works really, really well with the bronze for me. So we're going to also apply that just a little bit under where we applied our first transition color. And we're going to blend that out really, really well. Kind of going up into the crease area, but not all the way up. And just blend that out really, really, really well. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight my brow area. And um, this usually works really, really well. You're going to really, really try to blend that out also. And that is um, the white I used is uh, Nude in Anastasia Beverly Hills. And I usually put that on the brow area and then blend that out with the um, transition color. Really, really, really good. It gives the eye like a pop of, you know, just to highlight the eye, raise the eye along the brow area. I do this with every single eye look that I use. And it really works really, really well for me. I also take the same nude um, color and I also apply it to the lid. This is to make the blue eyeshadow pop. And I'm going to place that all over the whole lid of the eye from inner corner to outer corner. Kind of like in a padding motion from the inner corner to outer corner. Just so you don't have, you know, just don't pack it on the eye. Just kind of spread it out through just really, really smooth. And that really works really good. And that's also an e.l.f. Um, eyeshadow brush okay so we're gonna move right on into the blue and the first blue that I'm going to use is makeup geeks bang on blue and I'm going to use um, a clean eyeshadow brush and I'm going to use at first a padding motion with the blue eyeshadow just to get it going and then I'm going to lightly spread it out from halfway into the inner corner all the way out to the outer corner so you're going to go just a little bit before the inner corner and you're going to pat that on all the way out to the outer corner completely. Going all the way, not all the way up to the crease line, but about a halfway through, halfway. Okay, so the second blue that I'm going to use in the inner corner and just above the crease area, I'm going to use Moonflower, and that's also by Makeup Geek. And I find that these two blues work really, really well together when we're in a blue eye look. And you're going to really blend those two together, they, just the inner corner and above the crease area. You're going to really, really blend it out so there's no harsh, darker blue than the lighter blue in the transition color. You're going to blend those all together really, really well from the inside inner corner of the eye all the way out to the outside above the um, crease area. And that gives it a really good highlight. And we're going to take that transition color and really blend that blue out 
in that crease area. Blend, blend, blend. That's the whole technique of it all. Is to blend, ladies. Blend that out. Okay, so once we have that all blended out and we're satisfied with how it looks, we're going to go in with, I just picked up a little bit of black and a little bit of the darker brown that I used in my transition color. And I'm going to apply that to the outer corner of my eye and kind of blend just a little bit, just a tad bit in and into the crease area just to give it just a little bit of depth. Um, and it's just not so much blue in the outer corner. And just blend that right on in. See, it's just a little bit of bling bling for the eye eye. That's what I call it. Just don't want too much. And just clean it up a little bit. You can use a Q-tip. I here use the baby wipe. So yes, just clean that up just a little bit. And then we're going to move right on into the next thing. Okay, so I'm going to be using my... Ruby Kisses Auto Liner in black. And I'm just going to line the whole eye from all the way out to the outer corner, extending out just a little bit and all the way into the inner corner. And I'm going to do that probably like maybe three swipes across just because I myself like a thick line. And we're going to extend that out. Next, we're going to do the lower lash line. And we're going to go all the way from the inner corner all the way out into the outer corner. And let those two eye two lines meet for a cat eye effect. And I love this eyeliner. It's so easy to use. It's like a crayon. So I'm going to clean that up. And how I'm going to clean that up is I'm going to use my Pro Concealer in Warm Honey. And I'm going to just give that a cleaner eye a cleaner line that's what I meant to say a cleaner line <laughs> and then I'm gonna blend that out really really well and I find that that really works for me when um, cleaning up an eyeliner look okay going in with that same blue that I used in the beginning, the first, the bang on blue, I'm going to use that from the outer corner to halfway in the middle of the eye underneath the lower lash line. I'm going to pick that up with an eyeshadow brush with the pointy end where I can really get underneath those eyelashes at the bottom. And I'm going to pat that on all the way from the outer corner right into the middle of the eye. After I do that, I'm going to pick up the Moonflower um, Blue Eyeshadow and I'm going to go from the middle of the eye to the inner corner just so that eye pops a little. A lot of people use white, but when I'm using blue, I don't use white. I usually use another lighter blue, kind of like a shimmery blue, just to make the eyes pop a little. I don't want to do too much. For me, I don't want to do too much blue. I do just enough just so you can see the blue and that the eyes pop. Lastly, I'm going to take <clears throat> my RMS Beauty Mask. Okay, so I'm going to take my RMS Beauty Mascara and I'm going to do the top of the eyes, the eyelashes, inner corner, outer corner, more on the outer corner just to make the outer corner pop, and then the lower lash just a little bit. Don't go too crazy, ladies, and poke yourself in the eye and you walk around looking like one-eyed Jack. So, yeah. That's pretty much how I get that look. And I really, really like the um, mascara. I really, really like it. So, if you like this look, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And, yeah, leave uh, any comments that you may have um, down in the comment area. I will leave everything that I use in the description box. And I will see you guys later. Bye.